I was working at an MLW taping, assisting the production team in New York City. And in addition to the young talent, uh, there were a couple legends hanging out there. Uh, there was uh, Robert Parker, Colonel Robert Parker from WCW, a.k.a. Robert Fuller. The legendary Kevin Sullivan, the Taskmaster, was there in attendance. Bruce Pritchard, the WWE producer and head of now, I guess, talent and just head of everything, was there. During the downtime, right before the show, some of the wrestlers are warming up and going over their matches. Uh, I noticed that Colonel Robert Parker is holding court among all these legends, telling some great stories, and I want to overhear everything I can. At one point, though, he goes, uh, I tell you what, these wrestlers today, these young kids, they don't know their history like they should or like we had to know. I bet you not one of them knows who Sputnik Monroe is. And I overheard this, and I, I don't know why I did this, because this is so not like me. I, I, I don't like to speak. I will only speak when spoken to, but I couldn't help myself. So I stopped, and I said, uh, Mr. Parker, I'm, I'm sorry, Colonel Parker, because, you know, he's got rank. I had to correct myself. I said, Colonel, uh, I do, in fact, know who Sputnik Monroe was. Uh, Sputnik Monroe was the man who ended segregation in audiences at wrestling shows in Memphis, Tennessee. And he said, well, I'll be damned. Now, how do you know who Sputnik Monroe was? I said, I learned about Sputnik Monroe from two people, from Jim Cornette and Colt Cabana. And there was a brief look of shock on some of the people around the colonel. And I took that as a sign that I should get going, uh, or maybe I said too much. But I thought it was so crazy. I couldn't help myself. I, I just thought it was crazy that I would learn the history of Sputnik Monroe from two people who could not be more different in their philosophies and ideologies about wrestling. And I guess it's because, uh, much like politics, wrestling makes strange bedfellows. Hey, you saying that you don't like to talk, I'm going to call bullshit on that because we've heard your voice before and what a voice it is. And you're a great talker and you should continue talking. B, yes, Jimmy and I are very different in our views of wrestling, but we come together on the love of the history of professional wrestling. And C, the history of professional wrestling is what Sputnik Monroe is all about. And of course, I waited to play this very phone call until I put out all of the pro wrestling fringe episodes. They're all out right now. Wherever you get your podcasts, absolutely free. It's called Pro Wrestling Fringe. And one of the stories is about Sputnik Monroe helping to end segregation in the Memphis wrestling territory. It's a wonderful story. It makes me very proud that you listened to it, you retained the information, and you were able to be a part of a pro wrestling history conversation with a legend like Colonel Robert Parker. And that gives me a little bit of sense of pride. You were able to hang because of me. I was able to tell this story. You could talk about dog legs the handicapped Japanese professional wrestling company. You could talk about Maurice Talley, the other wrestler with Agromegli besides Andre the Giant. You could talk about Giant Gonzalez. There's so much you could talk about, but I'm glad Pro Wrestling Fringe, available wherever you get your podcasts to binge right now, helped you out in that moment. Hey, thanks for watching. That call was part of a whole podcast called Wrestling Anonymous. Listen to the whole thing weekly wherever you listen to your podcast. Go subscribe. And while you're at it, subscribe right here on YouTube to Colt Cabana's channel. Thank you.